Climate change is affecting our ice quality. Ice quality is important because of its direct implications for load bearing capacity uh, for human safety, and then also how much light will transmit under ice for life uh, under frozen lakes. Ice quality is only starting to be um, measured more rigorously within the last few decades. What we did see was that total ice thickness is declining, so getting thinner through time. Um, but you also see that black ice thickness seems to be getting thinner. We have more white ice conditions, and white ice conditions arise from warmer temperatures and more precipitation, especially in the form of rain in the winter or freeze-thaw events. And white ice is substantially weaker than black ice conditions. One of the things that's really different between white ice and black ice is black ice um, forms in a very different way than white ice. So black ice basically forms from the water freezing from the top down into the water column. You get much like bigger ice crystals and those bigger ice crystals and denser ice so it can bear a lot more weight. Whereas white ice has a lot of like air pockets and a lot of small interlaced crystals. And what happens is it, it, it can't quite bear as much. So you need a thicker ice cover altogether to compensate for that lack of density and the, the smaller crystal structure. For human ice safety, for example, to go ice fishing, skating, uh, snowmobiling, that requires about 10 to 12 centimeters of black ice conditions. And what we've uh, shown and what we've seen is that um, even if ice is sufficiently thick, uh, so, for example, in February in Sweden, a few years ago, the ice was sufficiently thick. It was over 10 centimeters thick, uh, but 10 skaters drowned uh, because it was all white ice conditions. For a transportation truck, uh, which is really essential for ice roads, transportation infrastructure is based on black ice conditions. They require 100 centimeters of ice or about 42 inches of black ice conditions. But what we're seeing and what we're predicting is that climate change is contributing to more white ice conditions. So those benchmarks on transportation are no longer viable. What we showed is that, for example, ice roads across Canada uh, will not have sufficient black ice thickness for transportation trucks uh, in a warming world. And so we're predicting a 99, 95 to 99% loss in winter ice road transportation infrastructure without meaningful adaptation.